Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. It's Tuesday, January, January June 6th. Happy D-Day, everyone. Or remembrance of D-Day. And in memory of D-Day, we're going to go to Ukraine. We're going to discuss the uh, ka uh, the ka Kapavka? Kapka Dam that was um, that was blown up today. Um, Ukraine claims that the uh, Russians planted explosives inside the dam and blew it up. Russia is saying that Ukraine blew up the dam because uh, the, they're terrorists. Um, the Ukrainians justify say that uh, the Russians blew up the dam because it will flood nearby areas, thus slowing down the offensive that the Ukrainians are planning on launching. The Russians... Would, are saying that the Ukrainians are, you know, preventing drinking water from getting down to uh, uh, Kherson and cities in Crimea, which rely on this dam for drinking water. All I'm going to say, I've got my opinions on it, and they are not pro-Russian. Um, I'm going to throw this out there. Russia spent all winter targeting infrastructure units in Kiev that provided heat to the people living in Kiev. They were not military targets. Uh, just from what I understand, things aren't done in this way in the US, but um, in Russia, they'll have like central areas that produce the heat and then they send it out to uh, to houses. This was each house having like its own furnace. So if you, you, know, you destroy that infrastructure, people freeze because all their heat is centralized. Talk about the ultimate centralized heat. So, if Russian troops, if Russia is willing to blow up those things to make life miserable for civilians, are they also willing to blow up a dam that Soviet Union built in the 50s that supplies water to people in Crimea? Would they even think twice about that? Would that bother them on a moral or ethical level? Probably not. And if anything, you know, I, I could see the attitude of we built this dam and you know, they're losing the war and we're retreating and um, we're now going to take, we built it, we're now taking it away. Kind of like that parental threat. I brought you into this world and I can take you out. I think what really what I think is happening here is Russia knows that they're losing this war. They're probably going to pull back from this area. They probably know they're going to lose Crimea. So they're going to like, by flooding the area, they're going to slow down the Ukrainian advance. And if people in Crimea suffer, well, you know, that's just a bonus. They can blame the Ukrainians for that. Sorry to be so negative, but Russia has been committing atrocities in this war the whole time. Okay. So, but I'm going to throw some cards on it anyways, because I could be wrong. I allow for the fact that I could be wrong. So... This situation with the, the dam that was uh, blown near Kursong. What can you tell me about this situation? What's going on with that? Entertainment purposes only. Let's bring it down. See what the cards have to say. High Priestess. Okay, so people know who did it. They know who did it. They'll do the investigation. Ask the right questions. They'll get the right answers. So we will find out who did this. This is not going to be a mystery. And um, cross with the Knight of Cups. Um, it's it was an, it was a message being sent. Uh, you know, I looked at this card when it first came up, and the first thing that came to mind was peace treaty. That you know, this is you know. Not, it's not so much the terrorists. Like, if you don't invade, we won't blow up this dam. But this is kind of sending sending a message that Russia is willing to um, go forward and do these sorts of actions that are emotionally very difficult and put people in harm's way because they've got nothing to lose by doing that. And that maybe this will force uh, Ukraine to either slow down their, their assault or to sue for peace because they don't want citizens being uh, targeted. That's, that's kind of what I'm taking away from this here. 
In the past, death card. Okay. <laughs> in the past, what we've got, Russia knows they're losing the war. That not only do they know they're losing the war, they know this war is lost. They, it's the end of a cycle. It's the end of that day. This thing did not go the way they wanted it to. <clears throat> and now they're just pulling out all the stops. They, they feel like they have nothing to lose, so they don't go forward uh, in good faith. They go forward as kind of like terrorists. Current situation, um, the Seven of Wands fighting from high ground. Again, I think this is oh, this is also you know interesting enough the higher ground right you know, the kind of think of the dam is up, up up higher up, and I think what's happening here is Ukraine has the advantage in this war. This war is pretty much over. Ukraine Ukraine's pressing that <clears throat> that advantage, and Russia's doing everything it can to try and fight off the inevitable, and. That dam will probably delay things a little bit. Maybe it'll f force uh, Ukraine to move in a couple directions, which helps uh, Russia with the uh, concentrate their troops where they need to be concentrated. It also probably buys them time to get out. The overarching situation is the uh, Two of Swords. You know, this is, you know, do you fight or do you sue for peace? Do you retreat? You know, they're in a crossroads. Russia has to figure out what they're going to do. Are they... They, I think they know this war is over with. Um, what can they do to, to get the best deal that they can get on this one? This also forces Ukraine to choose. Do you press forward with your, with your assault, with your attack, or do you slow down to try and get uh, civilians out of the way? And again, it's forcing a contemplation. Is it worth the cost? You know, you know, do we go forward with the uh, with the assault, or do we slow down and help civilians out? And there's topsy turviness going around here. So there, there's a balance that has to go on between fighting, between fighting, and you know, protecting your civilian population on this. What's the outcome? Star card, interesting enough, it's in water and, and pouring water out. I think what ends up happening here is that, um, I was gonna say Ukraine, I think manages to do both. I think they, yeah, they managed to do both. See how the water is pouring into the, the pond as well as onto the ground. Ukraine manages a way to protect civilians and give them aid, all the while still able to carry out their assault. And their assault will lead to peace. It will lead to the end of this war. This is the calm after the storm. Ukraine, it's not going to stop Ukraine's assault. And underneath it all, there we go. The Russians, you know, they've been waiting for this assault. They are tired and they know another battle is coming and they know they can't win it. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Again, I'm biased, but I think the the Russians blew that up. That that wasn't a that dam did not fail under natural causes, and I really don't see a reason why Ukraine would blow up that dam. I just don't see it. I easily can vision multiple scenarios why Russia would blow up that dam. No. Okay. So what happens? So that's the situation behind it. Uh, what's Ukraine going to do? I really don't care what Russia's going to do. Russia's going to run away is what they're going to do. Or if they stay and fight, they're going to get slaughtered before suing for peace. So what's Ukraine going to do with this situation? Maybe the star card came out. Are they going to help civilians? What are they going to do? And Russia will do this again. They will anything anytime that they can do something like this, they will do it. And then they'll try and blame Ukraine because they just they just gaslight. They lie. 
Okay, so what's Ukraine going to do in this situation? Well, there we go. We had High Priestess. Um, they're going to figure out who did it. They'll, they'll come up with evidence to show uh, that Russia probably did this. Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, and there we go. And there's the Devil card. Okay, yeah. They will... What's going to happen out of what's Ukraine going to do? I think basically we're going to find out who did this, who was responsible for this. And it's going to, we're going to find out most likely it was Russia that was responsible for this. There'll be a, it'll be kept, there'll be a lid kept on this one for a while though. Um, again, I was asking uh, what Ukraine's going to do, but I'm not really seeing Ukraine here. What I'm seeing is more like uh, the United States and NATO. Uh, they're going to want to keep a lid on this. Probably there will be war crimes held for this one because of this devil card underneath. But right now is not the time for that. Right now is the time to win that battle. And then afterwards, they will hold, they'll hold trials and they will hold those people who blew that up accountable. But yeah, for right now, they're going to keep it under wraps. They probably already do know. Um, we've got the Queen of Wands here. It's like, you no, know, keep your eye on the prize. Yeah, this is this sucks, but keep your eye on the prize. You got your sunflowers there. Uh, this is your, you know, we're going to go forward with this uh, this spring assault, almost summer assault. And by the time summer's done, uh, Russia's defeated. And here's, you know, Russia's done. They're, they're already, they're already, they're pretty much, they're already defeated right now. They know this war is lost. They know they're defeated. You just now have to go through the motion and force it. But once, once this is said and done, there will be people held to account. They will, they know, they're going to know who did this. They're going to know who was in charge of that area. And they will hold that person accountable for war crimes. Count on it. Okay. So that's my reading on Ukraine and the dam that got blown up. Um, thank you everyone for supporting my channel. I really do appreciate the, subscri the subscriptions as well as the comments and the likes and all that. Um, I hope you find these uh, readings insightful and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.